Imagine having COVID symptoms that last months, even years. In today's Health Watch, Local 3's Connie Fellman talks to us about COVID brain, what it is, and who's at risk. Nearly one in five Americans who have had COVID-19 have long COVID. The CDC reports these long haulers experience fatigue, memory impairment, and coordination problems that can last months or even years. But what causes one person to feel symptom free within days of testing positive while others suffer for months and months? Some researchers think the one thing that's fighting the virus is also causing the problem. The fatigue, I was really drained and you know could hardly get out of bed. Jeff Engman was one of the early ones to get COVID, but his symptoms stuck around. I'm talking pretty good now, but early on I was trying to talk and, and I had trouble finding the words. One of the most common symptoms of long haul COVID is having some type of what people are calling brain fog. UC San Diego neurologist Jennifer Graves is leading a team tracking neurological symptoms in COVID long haulers. What we've realized is shortly after the infection and in the first few weeks to months, Folks complain of having headaches and fatigue. And then over time, we see a shift of folks complaining more about memory problems and inattention and difficulty multitasking. They found 15 to 30 percent of long haulers' cognitive skills were impacted. Of 56 long haulers, six months after getting COVID, two-thirds still reported persistent neurological symptoms, the most prevalent memory loss. One leading theory that I, I think is very probable is that it's all triggered by the immune response to this virus. That even if the virus isn't directly invading the brain, it's triggering the immune system to behave in a way that triggers inflammatory response in the brain. And so far, this response can last up to a year or even longer. The good news is the newer variants of this virus seem to be less likely to trigger this phenomenon. UC San Diego researchers are now working to find biomarkers in the brain or blood that could identify which patients are suffering COVID brain. That way treatments such as cognitive rehabilitation can begin sooner. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Fellman, Local 3 News.